Hi, my name is Nicolas Melin, and I'm one of the Uniburn Venture Fellowship 2023. My Venture Fellowship project, Akilive, targets a critical issue, liver cancer, claiming 1 million lives annually with limited treatment options. One of the problems we are trying to address is the lack of precision therapies that limit treatment effectiveness. Akilive's innovative platform lies in targeting a receptor only present in liver to guide the treatment to the cancer cell. This liver cancer specific approach enhance treatment precision to increase effectiveness and limit side effects. My commitment to taking this project beyond basic research came relatively quickly after the initial experiments. The solution we are proposing address major drawbacks of existing immunotherapies that treat cancer, and I also saw its potential to be expanded in other therapeutics area positively impacts patient lives. Focusing on a specific cancer type is not very common, but that doesn't mean that the market is too small. In fact, it's quite the opposite. We are looking at over a million patients worldwide who need new treatments, which translates to a multi-billion dollar opportunity, starting with key regions like Europe, North America, China and Japan, we have a solid base of half a million patients, making it a substantial and valuable market. Advancing healthcare innovation requires a pivot from public funded research to commercialization. While public fund initiate promising ideas, commercialization ensures that they reach the patient. This transition addressed the simple financial reality of the clinical development expensive costs. Pre-invest investment seeking return becomes the engine driving impactful solution to the market, contributing to economic growth, job creation and patient benefits. Bringing a new drug to the market is a lengthy process. We are fully committed to this journey and currently deep in research phase, ensuring that our treatment is ready and safe for initial human trials, which is projected to last another three to five years. The subsequent phase is the patient testing to ensure that the treatment is safe and effective at treating HCC, and this is expecting to take another five to seven years. In conclusion, we are hoping to make this new treatment available for all HCC patients within the next 8 to 12 years.